Sister Maria Rosa Legal was a Franciscan nun from Honduras. In Honduras, she's considered the Mother Teresa of Honduras. Yo creo que para trabajar con Dios, uno tiene que ser medio travieso, medio loco. Through her ecosystem of programs, she really raised 87,000 orphaned and abandoned children, provided homes for them, over 500 homes. Mientras hay un niño en la calle sufriendo, Maria Rosa no puede estar alegre. She had just so much energy. Estaba pensando, algún día voy a hacer casas y me voy a llevar todos estos niños. Yo no pedí permiso. I had a personal connection to Sister through my family. I'm a, an immigrant from Honduras. They formed the Honduran Civic and Cultural Society. And on one of those mission trips, they took me along. I was eight years old, and I met Sister for the very first time as a child. I'm there as a child, and I see this woman, leader, bossing everybody around, this ball of activity, and, um, you know, everyone's joyous about it. They're all, like, happy to be in her presence. And I thought to myself, well, she's really special. She looks over at me, and she gives me the best hug, you know? I mean, in that moment, I t t still to this day recall, I felt so, like, lo loved warm and loved. Aunque todas las cosas estén mal, nosotros tenemos que darles un poquito de esperanza. All those years as an adult that I worked and, and did mission work with her, I, I said to myself, everyone has these beautiful stories of testimony around how Sister has touched their lives. ¿Qué futuro hubiese tenido yo sin Sor? Incredible stories. Stories that were like kind of mysteries or I call them little miracles. And so I said, we need to capture um, these stories. And we need to capture it in Sister's voice. No, de un, no ha nacido el hombre que a mí me da órdenes. Lo siento mucho. It took me three times asking her for her to say yes. Finally, I said to her, Sister, you have been a fearless advocate for you know, the rights of children, what they need in our society and the services that they need and transmitting the message of God, right, to, to the children. And so I said, this is just an extension of your mission work. Yes, it's film, but film is a form of communication in today's world, in our contemporary world. And you kind of need to do this, you know, um, because you have so much wisdom. The film had to be told. And for some reason, we, we captured enough of her own voice telling about her life that we were we just had enough that we were able to utilize it for the film. Ahora vamos a empezar a vivir una vida nueva, una vida llena de luz. Que todo fue por amor. You know, she just demonstrates that there's no there's no small acts of kindness and love in this world. It all is needed and to be of service to the marginalized and the most vulnerable. Actually, it's such a joy when you really get involved.